Welcome to Coding Cafe. Let's start the work on the GetX. So first create a new project in here. Click in here and click next right in here and then rename your project. I'm going to name as Flutter GetX. So click in here finished. So let's close this. Go to the lib. Main dot dot. Click in here. So guys, let's go and import the GetX library. We will search for it in the Google. So simply open your Google. And right here, search for fub dot dev. Click on this first one and now search in here for getx. Now click on this first one, get. Just simply come here in the installing and copy these dependencies from here. Just simply copy and now go back to the Android Studio and open the popspec.yaml right in here after the Copertino icons just paste in here so I'll move to the left side to make it proper like this so we are good to go now and now click in here on the pub get as you guys can see Now click on the get dependencies. So we are good to go now. Close the pop spec. So now let's remove all of the code from here. You simply tell this. So now let's remove this material A from here to here and we will return get material app so write get material app as you guys can see in here let's put a semicolon in here now we will work right in here and actually that get material app is a widget which is basically uses the material app as its child and guys one more thing that getx is not only used for the state management we can use it for a different purposes and with the help of getx we can perform like a uh, root management and also we can perform dependencies injection and if you guys want to work only for the state management you can use the material app or otherwise you can use the get material app so now in here we will have a title so in title we will say snake bar so write snake bar in here after this in home we will have a scaffold widget and in here we will have a app bar and now in here we will have a title so write title and title there will be text so in text we will say this is snake bar now in here in body we will have a center widget and in center widget we will have a child and in child then we will have a column widget so write column in here and in column 
we will have an elevated button so first let's set the main access alignment and cross access alignment for it so then we will have a after elevated button main access alignment set it to center now cross access alignment also set this to center now after this in children we will have an elevated button so write elevated button in here as you guys can see so now first in child we will show text in text we will say show snake bar after this put a comment here now we will work right in the on pressed in here we will simply get the snake bar in here so write get dot snake bar right in here in title we will say it's snake bar after this in message we will print something we will say hello snake bar put a semicolon right at the end so now that's it for this code and now we will test it on the emulator we will simply come here and click on this and then we will click on this play button click OK now close this there we go with the emulator now just come here and press on this play button we will test it it will take some time just wait for a while as you guys can see and now if I press in here you guys will see the snake bar title as you guys can see here at the top it's a snake bar hello snake bar so that's it for this video